Wimbledon club initiation ceremony claim, new members of David Cameron's old club must burn a £50 note in front of a beggar. A friend of one of the exclusive club's super-wealthy members revealed the sick prank to an Oxford student newspaper. The notorious Bullingdon club was blasted as completely unacceptable by Oxford University's new head, Professor Louise Richardson, who stressed there was no official link between it and the university. But she added, if it had, I would sever it or I would do my best to sever it. Oxford's first female vice-chancellor said she would not ban the club as it was not her job to legislate who one goes out with socially. It was also condemned last night by Labour MP Ian Mearns, who said, this kind of thing takes us back to the loads of money days under the last Conservative government. It wasn't just about having cash, you had to rub it in the faces of those who didn't. It's both distasteful and disgusting. The Bullingdon revelations came as figures showed a rise in those sleeping rough. One night in autumn last year, councils found 2,309 people out on the streets, compared to 2,181 in 2011. Bullingdon Club, infamous for trashing Oxford restaurants, also have as former members David Cameron's best buddies, Chancellor George Osborne and London Mayor, Boris Johnson. What an amazing coincidence. What are the chances that three public school boy twats, who are members of the same elitist club, at the very same time, would end up running the country together? The odds are millions to bloody one against. I can promise you. Now there's food for thought.